hello. Jack? Hi. Right, OK, you know I'm coming round for a bait. Yes, yes. So, I've been thinking, are there, is there anything you're particularly craving or wanting me to include in the bait? Um... Well, you know me, I'm an absolute avid fan of uh, peanut M&M's and all things chocolate based. So, something in that world? That is fine. Any particular biscuit? Although I have already got an idea, so maybe leave that with me. Okay. And I'm thinking I might potentially add a little bit of an alcohol element, but I know your drinks cabinet is good. I've, so. I was going to say I've got, I've got, I have a lot of that. So don't you, you, I won't worry about the biscuit. You don't worry about the alcohol. Together we'll make something great. Amazing. Okay. Look forward to seeing you. Alright, bye. Hello, hello. Oh, Who's it? Hello. Who's hey, it? There's a whole camera crew here. Oh my goodness. goodness me. Hi. hi, 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 hi. Glad to see oh, you. Oh, stop it. It's <laughs> Come, Come on. on. Right. Inside. Yes, I'm excited to see. Come on, guys. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, hello. Here's, this is my Here house. Here is Jack Garrett's abode. This is very strange. This is the first time Look, I've ever. I'm a, a bit of Bowie right oh, there. Just a bit. Just a little bit. That. Oh, wow. Is that. <laughs> yeah. This is. <laughs> so it's my birthday. It was my 30th birthday. It was. A couple of weeks ago. And my management got me a cast of David Bowie's face made in 1983. The bake, the old Ziggy Stardust. Colour palette, Just but I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to cast this face no, in chocolate. But <laughs> well, oh my God, that, but we, we'll could, you, we could. You could. If you could no, make a negative say, cast out of it, can't you? negative mould. That is mold. pretty impressive. We've come to Jack's <laughs> to create a bake inspired by his music, fed by some of his favourite flavours and ingredients. So I'm going to drop my stuff and start baking. <laughs> I'm just going to run through obviously the ingredients I brought for the bake and just a bit of a sort of mood board that I put together. So, the M&M's I can just keep, have and you then, can maybe just have, there's to be honest there's more than done. we need so that's all just, good. You can leave and I can Is eat, it just the peanut M&M's or these? is it is it all M&M's? It's just the peanut M&M's. Is it? Yeah, literally. Because I was quite I, tempted to get a mix of the peanut and the chocolate ones. The peanut the, the chocolate ones are good. I'm I'm a, I'm a fan of uh, M&M's anyway. I remember I was on a long haul flight once and I was really nervous. I was flying on my own and I got a family sized thing of M&M's. Thing of M&M's. There's nothing to be ashamed and of I, there. And I ate, I ate through it in the majority of the flight and then in the two days after it. So on the peanut front, yes. also just some good old salted peanuts. Classic. They're going to be going in, so we're doing a brownie. Yay! I'll tell you now, brownie. So it's salty and sweet brownie. And then obviously, I know you like different types of biscuits, but I was thinking bring in a bit of a... More bit, of a savoury, salt. salty yeah. edge. Peanut butter, I know this looks a bit, yeah. <laughs> a bit dodgy. That's that but... special new one branded peanut butter that you managed to <laughs> smooth, find at the shop down the road. Smooth peanut butter. So no one can get you... it, that's an absolute find. Well <laughs> it's done. It's Jack Garrett approved. Yeah. It's a special limited edition. Um, and have you ever made chocolate ganache or even know what the hell I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what chocolate ganache is. I've never made it. So this is just a bit of a crazy colour palette. Whoa. Obviously when I am baking, I always have music on. Yeah. This one, your music. Yeah. Time is one of your newest, it's not the, best favourites. Not the, not the herb, but the song. Yes, the song, the song, T-I-M-E. Disappointed um, in myself. So just like the explosion of colour and that. sound. So Oh, it's so great. On top of the brownies are going to be the m and salted peanuts. So it's a bit like a, a mosaic of M&M's. Mm. Does that mean we get to like bash them up? You get to bash them up, bash them up. There's lots of bashing up. It's almost like arts and crafts. Let's maybe put the oven and the kettle on yep. and start baking. There we go. There's a lot more ramekins than I thought there yeah, would be. Yeah, I just love a ramekin. <laughs> Anyone that knows me knows I love a ramekin. We're going to be putting the Ritz crackers. We want 50 grams of oh, these. Indy, Indy's, Indy's here. Indy has She hears the rattling. This is Jack's dog, this Indy. Is, this is my dog, Indy. You can't see because she's currently just oh, underneath the table. Oh, I don't know. She can't have one of these, can I don't she? Think she can no, have one Indy, it's not. Mm. I know it's cruel to be kind here. I don't suppose I reckon we want this side on the base of the brownie. So yeah, the, sort of the best side up mm. goes facing, facing down. down. So best side up facing down. down. We've got a good amount left and we're going to be putting this in the brownie mixture. Amazing. Um, and I'm going to let you bit, a little bit of crunch, a little bit of crunch there. A little bit so of we'll crunch. Put those aside. And then to make the actual brownie itself yep. is we've just got a pan here. Hello. And again, I'm just using like a set of digital scales. So you don't need to keep on having different bowls and stuff to measure everything into. So we're putting it to 
zero. And we're making six here today. Yep. And the full recipe will be on the website and also find it down below. It's a really easy recipe to remember. So it's it's sort of one egg to everything. So Indy, you're being quite see. ridiculous. Oh, see what she this she is what just, she does. That is fifty grams Sit. of butter in there. Do you want to do the honour? We've got yes. we've got golden right. caster sugar here, but you could use just normal caster sugar. 97, 98. Yay! Yay! 100. Mm. Bang on, bang on. And then the secret ingredient to my brownies, this is like my basic brownie mix, is some golden syrup. What's that do? It makes it extra fudgy. I love it. This is then just gonna melt, we're gonna go through to your kitchen. And I I'm hope gonna, I'm you gonna said you are going to make me a coffee. coffee. Yeah, I'll make us a coffee. You can heat that up. I'll, I'll heat that I'll up. Make, I'll make and I'll also take in... Mm. I've got a, this is, I'm really very fond of this spatula, spatula, but it is broken, guys. But I still use it. I still use it. So I will take said broken spatula in with pan of butter, sugar and golden syrup. And we're going to melt that down. Mm. And Jack's going to make me a coffee. And Indy's going to come for Indy, you're going to come as well. OK, so we're back at Action Station well, with a very well-made coffee. Thank you very much. Left me hanging there, left me hanging. Almost. <laughs> and while we've been chatting and having our coffee, that the, so good. the melted chocolate ah. and the caramel has cooled down a little bit because we're going to be breaking an egg in. We're also going to add a bit of vanilla bean paste. Yeah. And apparently you already I've have got, this I've, anyway. I've got that in there covered. I, got, I mean, I've got all of this in the cupboard somewhere. He's got all the sour cream too. Yes. Oh, no, this house not looking that sparse. I love a condiment and you, you're sorted for the condiments. I've got all that sour cream. I'm just going to add a teaspoon worth of this and if you were doing like a flavored like orange or mint brownie then you could add like orange extract or mint extract jack i'm gonna pass this over oh, to you really. right, and you just wanna yeah just do that just just beat it all in so you'll see the brownie mixture itself just get a little bit shinier the yeah. velocity will improve Ooh. you see what's happening oh, yeah. so you're just looking at beating all the egg into the mix yeah. there you I'm go getting it. Oh, good. Yeah. That is beautiful. Look, Look at, at that. that. Oh my god. Oh. Very viscous. Very viscous. Very word, viscous. Word of the day. Word Kids. of the day. Viscous. Viscous and salty and sweet. Now we're going to be adding in the dry ingredients. So I'm going to put the pan back on the digital scales. And you just want to add in 50 grams of plain flour. Do you want to do the honours again, yeah, sir? Then I'm just going to fold all the flour into the chocolate mixture. Oh God. There we go. I love baking so much, I don't do it enough. It, well, the great thing about this, it's just all in one pan. You haven't got to uh, like be... Yes, I hadn't considered that. Because sometimes, you know, they ask you to then transfer it to another bowl, but yeah. if you, as long as you let the pan cool down enough, you can just do it you can just, And also, because I'm using like silicon spatula, I'm not like a broken using silicon a, spatula. a broken silicon spatula. I'm not like using a metal spoon. Now, do you want to... The leftover Ritz crackers. Oh right, crackers. these have got going, didn't they? Now you can crunch. you can put them in a sandwich bag. You could smash them with a little rolling pin, or you could just use your let's you know hands in approach. Indy, come on, you can have the rest. And of this. then peanuts. So it's 50 grams, but we're going to be using some to decorate the top. So I reckon Ooh. if you put in about 30 grams of peanuts. If you want to fold all that crackers and peanuts in the mix. Now, at this point, you could also add a glug of alcohol. Well, now, we were talking about this before the camera yeah. started rolling. So, like, a sweeter alcohol? So something like a mezcal? I've got lots you've got of... Cointreau. That would be good if you wanted to do a chocolate orangey one. Yeah, the Cointreau would be nice. mezcal, it's going to be too many flavours if we go on chocolate orange. If we do in all of it, yeah. I think I'm going to use the Pentador, Pentador which... Well, let's do... Let's do. That's it. Give that a smell. I don't know. Like well, that's nice. Is that good? Yeah. Should we do that? Put that one in. Right, I was let's, about to get let's go. I was about to Here get we go. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> tell me, tell Just me one. Just put in like a shot's worth. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> no, baking is a science. Oh, go on. There you oh, Beautiful. That's not bad, is it? That is good. I hope I didn't overdo it. No, it's all good. <laughs> And smelling quite a lot like mezcal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So while you're doing that, I'm going to ask you some questions. No pressure. 
On a music theme. Oh, okay. I love asking people this. Do you know what the year King number one was when you were born? I have no idea. Several people would have been born during it because it was, I don't know how many weeks it was there. Brian Adams, everything oh, I everything do. Everything I do, I, I knew do that. I knew that. There I've you go. So that, I've looked that up before. So, was it Robin Hood? Look at the mind, so, yeah. was, Has there been a number one at the top spot longer than that? Uh, what was it, like 50 weeks? It was ages. Or was it wet, wet, wet? That was a long one. Wet, wet, wet. Uh, That's a throwback. What was the first gig you went to? Do you remember? Oh wet, yeah. wet, wet. No. Uh, so the first gig I went to was Hearsay. No. Yep, at the Wembley Arena. I'm actually lost for words. It's brilliant, isn't it? What That's was, such a good first what was gig. Their, um, what was their Wherever classic? you go. Oh, I can see the video. Whatever you do. Yeah. Yep, pure and simple. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It was absolutely it was incredible. It was like the best show of my life. Do you remember Darius? Yeah. Colorblind, that song. He had this really famous audition where he sung um, Hit Me Baby One More Time. First of all, he's just this like glorious six foot handsome he was, wasn't goatee he? Yeah. ponytail. And his whole performance was like, my loneliness is killing me. And I, I must like do it really giving it. I still believe, still believe. And he goes into this bit, it is absolutely incredible. And his first single was a song called Colorblind. And it's an absolute banger. Put that on the baking playlist. I think we'll have bake. to. I think so. Nobody told me it seems so good. It's like a trip down memory lane. Nobody yes. said <laughs> you'd be so beautiful. And he sung it like that. Nobody told me it the dark night. You're the light, you're the light. When I close my eyes, Join in. I'm colorblind. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> If you could do a duet with anyone, Darius. who would it be? Would it, no, it be Darius? No, I duet. If I could do a duet with anyone, it would probably be Stevie Wonder. Yeah. Just because he's kind of my everything. Have you got a favourite Stevie track? I can't. Because yeah, it's too I, I to honestly believe it's impossible. Yeah, I don't know. I've been so, really lucky to see him a few times, and every single time I've seen him, he's just. So first gig was here. Say, do you remember yes. what the first single that you bought was? Yes, the first single I bought was uh, the Teletubby Say Eto. <laughs> the B side was Mary Had a Look. No, uh, Mary Mary Quite Contrary. This baking playlist is going to be great because we're basically going to put all of these tracks in. Honestly, Jack. I can't wait. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> now with that lovely oh tray God. of brownies, should I go put it in the oven? We're going to put that in the oven. Okay. I'm going to clean the pan because then we're going to use the pan to make the peanut butter ganache. We're back. The brownies are baking and we've set up our own little bain marie. Now this is smooth, even though it is looking a bit clumpy because I'm stirring it in, but you could use a crunchy peanut butter if you wanted a crunchy ganache. Yeah. But we're just using smooth. We've got enough crunch in the brownie already. We? we have got a lot of crunch we don't need in the a, We don't need a crunchy ganache. So essentially, ganache. we are just replacing the double cream He's, he's lost it. Oh, it's gone. that mess cup. I'm done. I had, yeah, I had one. <laughs> or several shots of coffee. Yeah. Um, we could use sour cream, but we're using peanut butter. We're using peanut butter. So it'd be quite good if you were making this vegan. And now it's 50 grams, so 50 grams we, we could just quickly take the bowl yeah. off that, off that. use our scales again, mm -hmm. and then goes. just put in 50 grams worth of peanut butter. If you wanted to cheat, you could just use a jar of like Nutella, or you could even use plain peanut butter, but you, we want that sort of dark chocolate color on the top. Right, so while the chocolate ganache, peanut ganache, shall I say, peanut, melts, peanut we're gonna be breaking up some of the M&Ms yeah. and the peanuts yeah. to decorate the brownies yeah. with. Yeah. You, dr you drum, Jack. Yeah, I do, don't I? Drum, Jack. Yeah. Obviously go for a mix of bashing techniques. Let's put them in there. And then, do you want to chop some? So, are we happy with that? Well, I think we can yeah, pull yeah. out. We can pull out. Pull out. Look, they look very deeply roasted. Let's pull those out. I'll pull these out <laughs> while you chop some peanuts. <laughs> I've got to individually chop some peanuts. <laughs> Good chopping of peanuts there, Jack. Good chopping going. Good chopping. Actually, I think the brownies will be ready to come oh out the oven. I can Quick. smell a bit of mezcal. So I'm just going to go and check on the brownies now. Now that was the shots that we had before they went off. Oh, I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> and I'll leave you chopping the peanuts. Yay! So what do we have here, Mr. Garrett? They smell incredible. <laughs> Can't eat them just yet, though. Why? I mean, you, you could, <laughs> to be Way. fair. But if we want to see the Ritz cracker in all its glory, they just need to cool down a little bit. 
you can just leave them room temperature, put them in the fridge if you want to cool down really quickly. And then also the peanut butter ganache has all mm. melted. To be honest, if you wanted it warm, take that straight out, ice cream and that on top. Oh my God. But we do want to be able to spread that on top of the brownies. Yes, so please. I'm going to leave both the brownies so got cool and the ganache to cool. Peanut butter ganache has been causing a few issues. So it had obviously melted down and then we were like, oh, we want to spread it quicker. Let's put it in the fridge. It didn't seem to be getting to the right mm. consistency. So popped it in the freezer. Popped it in the freezer. And then it went to almost peanut butter ice cream. So I then melted it down again, put it in the fridge. I was like, I'm gonna just put it in the freezer just for a few seconds and it seized again. So I've now just got it sitting in the oven. But hopefully... Have you, have you made chocolate peanut butter ganache before? I have, but not under this pressure. <laughs> I normally just let it go to the right consistency, but you know. Okay. Come on. Okay. Man. Yeah. We're good. We're going back in the fridge. No, we're not. I mean, peanut butter ganache was meant to be something you could just whip up really quickly. It's really at home, quickly. Which you can do, but obviously you would want to let it just come to a spreadable, spreadable, what kind of speak? A spreadable consistency in your own time. But we're up against it, so it went to fridge to freezer, back in the oven. But we have got something here that I hope is going to be able to spread on top of our brownie. But I mean, this may, be seen, this may be seen as a hack, but I've also filled up one of your very nice hack. coffee mugs You're welcome. with some hot water. And I'm going to get our little palette knife. Little palette knife. Just give it a little bath. Give it a little bath. Give it a little bath. We've got some kitchen roll here. Wipe it off. Wipe it off. Wipe, wipe it off. But wipe the palette knife will now be warm. It's now warm. We just want this to almost be like a chocolate concrete. Does that sound appealing? No. <laughs> Jack Garrett's <laughs> chocolate concrete. Yay! And then with our M&Ms, so it's almost like a bit of a oh, then you just like crazy paving Whoa. mosaic approach. So we've got the full M&Ms, right. mix of colours, and then four whole M&Ms. Four whole M&Ms, and in, then if that's you want to, insane! You're a mad woman. Crazy! <laughs> I've listened after the ganache episode we've had, put the whole pack on, and then and then put a few peanuts. So we were sort of looking for a mix of sort of like broken whole M&Ms, M &M. broken M&Ms, &M, M &Ms. You could do this brownie in like a tray or like a round sort of like Victoria sponge esque thing and then you could do a more design across the top. But these were doing individual ones here. Mm. But as you can see, they come out with a little Ritz cracker on the bottom. you got a favourite movie soundtrack, I love them. Oh. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> that beauty shot. There we go. It's Thomas Newman's score. Yeah. On um, Finding Nemo, I think is honestly one of the most inspiring and emotionally evocative soundtracks to not only a Pixar film but children's film in general. Thomas Newman uh, also did American Beauty. Yeah. And it's very similar to that. So it's like very minimalist and lots of lovely like glassy pianos. What have you got coming up this year then? That's, I'll tell you what, that's a very good question. Because uh, I don't know. <laughs> but that is also a good answer. I feel like mine, mine aren't as colourful as No, they yours. are. It's because I'm hogging all oh, the Oh, you're hogging all of the, the, the crushed m and Well, even just not being able to perform, I can imagine. That's been tough. And especially yeah. putting a, like, um, Putting an album out, which I did. Yeah, right at the point. Uh, right at the point when, when everyone was locked inside. Well, if nothing else, you've created Jack Garrett Ms. Cal Brownies this year. That's a um, win in my books. So the full recipe is going to be on the website, and I'm also going to be turning it into a visual illustration for you, so you can follow along with pictures, <laughs> words and pictures. What are the little pots you've got up there? Oh, just Put a little bit. They're just like tasting pots with it. You have some mezcal with it. More mezcal. I think, to be honest, there's enough probably in don't the need. brownie. Probably don't need. Oh, yeah, oh. These little. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Dave. Phantom hand. That probably also fits yeah, in the but... perfect oh, little then. It's a little, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. A little terracotta Jack Garrett salty and sweet brownie pot right mm. there. It's its very own little cake stand. Uh, Fr Francis, ex explain your, um, your, your design well, here. I was what is it that you've done? I was inspired <laughs> by your birthday card of David Bowie yeah. and said lightning bolt. Um, now I was thinking you could create the whole lightning bolt if you had several of these, but I didn't like have that much. Up. Stacked up. Have, yeah. But just to show people at home that if you wanted to create... But you can really do anything. You can really you do anything you want with M&Ms. <laughs> these are still a bit warm. You can, if you want to put them in the fridge and then they get a bit more fudgy. Okay. So oh, you, what have so we got? Section. Well, that's not bad. It's not bad. That's quite nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross section it as well. <laughs> oh yeah, look, mine's that got even good, more in. 
bit right, of peanut. Brag. Okay, right. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> It keeps going. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. It keeps, keeps, keeps on going. That's really good. The rich cracker is a very good touch. The splash of mezcal in it. Splash. <laughs> the glug is. It's a really. It's like a. It's a hint at the end. But the full recipe is on the baking playlist website where there'll also be a visual recipe of Jack's special bespoke bake. And um, I'm looking forward to listening to the actual baking playlist with Darius. <laughs> Teletubbies. Teletubbies. Hearsay. Brian Adams. Brian Adams. Finding Nemo. Oh, yeah. And Stevie Wonder. Okay. I mean, it's pretty much, you couldn't ask for more. You could. Um... <laughs> Like and subscribe. Like and, like and subscribe. subscribe. Okay, now get out of my house so I, can, a... so I can eat all of these brownies by myself. Now give a mini microwave. Oh, I did a, a mini mi microwave. <laughs> microwave. Mini microwave. You ever broken up an M&M &M outside of your mouth? Outside of my mouth. <laughs> well, no, I... How do... how do you eat yours? Yeah, how do you eat an M&M? &M? If I was having them with a cup of tea or coffee, like right, so, okay, and then take a sip while it's still in yeah. your mouth. So there's a, lot, a lot of people think eating anything like that is disgusting. The idea of like having, because I do this, holding food in your mouth and then taking a swig. Don't of, hold it there for that not long. Not bite. <laughs> oh, I'll put, No, 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 because if I'm having like coffee and I've got some M&Ms, I'll put it in my mouth, I'll keep it there for a bit. So it like softens the candy and then you chuck some coffee in and then that melts the chocolate. I've got a little bit of coffee left. I'm going to try this. Um, which <laughs> colour would you recommend? I mean, I do, I do it with a blue, just because. And you want to get, wait, hang on. Oh. That's not a good blue. Oh, what, what do you want? A, a well, bigger no, one? No, this one. That's what, because what? You that can always, the same size. No, actually, that might be all right. You can always tell, but that's the thing. You can always tell, like. Whether there's a good, decent sized whether peanut. It's, whether it's decent, it's not the peanut. Oh, it's the chocolate. It's the chocolate. Oh. The peanut's the same size. So you get like that. So that's, I don't know, that. Oh, that's big boy, okay. big boy, big boy that chocolate. That is a big boy. Do you know what I mean? Then, right, okay. The yellow's, the yellow's for some reason. Do you finish your coffee? I've, no, I've got a bit left. So you just well, got like, just, just, you just put it in there and then it kind of like helps melt the chocolate a bit and you can like. Coffee is cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not going to do it then.